Welcome back, Minties, to Near Mint Condition. I'm the Astonishing Melanie, and this loser over here is the somewhat uncanny Omar. I am the uncanny Omar, and in today's episode, I'm gonna do something, or I'm sorry, we are going to do something that some of you all have been asking me to do, and that is to give you a tour of our manga. That's why I'm having my lovely wife help me out to give, to give you all a tour of our manga shelves. One fifteenth is mine, and two thirds is mine if we get divorced. So please stay tuned. <laughs> okay, we're in the top shelf, top shelf. Sometimes I gotta get a step in the stool. But now we're looking at the 20th Century Boys Collection. These are done by Naoki Urasawa from Monster and Pluto. And then there's the two volume 21st Century Boys. They're releasing these in perfect collections. And I wanna say there's going to be a total of 12 including 21st century boys then we have the planetes planets i haven't read the manga but i did watch the anime and this is from my days of reviewing manga this is murder princess and i believe it comes with something yeah right there sample this was sent to me from broccoli books when they used to publish manga then we have wolf children if you've seen the anime, it will make you cry. Uh, over here are two volumes. Let's see what we got. We got uh, Mugen Spiral, uh, two volume edition from Tokyo Pop. No idea what the hell that even is. And then we have, I know what this is. This is the Hack. Yeah, Hack Legend of the Twilight. This is the complete collection. Again, when I was reviewing manga for a magazine, many years ago they would send books to me like that and Tokyo Pop is a dust in the wind now in the back what do we got what do we got in the back here let's see we got Ranma okay so that's the complete collection of Ranma back there yeah see these are double layer I believe that's all I have back there including the final is this the final volume yep Ranma then you have some old ass anime posters from the 90s. This is back when Del Rey was publishing books and then eventually Kadansha got the rights back. This is Mushishi. I, this is one of my most hidden gems. I love this manga and I really like the anime too. Sadly, these are out of print, especially this volume right here, which is the, all three of them. She and her cat. I like the way that this has like this foil cover. This is printed by, I want to say Vertical Books. Then my small pitiful collection of Rene, Rumiko Takahashi's latest work. And I think it's still ongoing. I don't think it's over. Correct me in the comments below. That's how out of the loop of manga I am. That's why I've kind of been just dreading to do this tour because this is like um, a guy that's been collecting manga off and on for the last 30 years. And I don't even know what's new anymore. Fushigi Yugi, this is the Genbu Kaiden. This is the follow-up to the original Fushigi Yugi. And see, this is why I do these, because I'm missing volume seven. The hell, Omar? What's Michael? Very excited that Dark Horse is putting those back into print. Very awesome. Um, now let's look what's back here in the back. Okay, so this is, oh man. Ease, eyes, Melanie? That's nice. Astonishing Melanie, you don't know? Okay. Uh, the same guy that did Video Girl Eye and DNA did this series. Panty shots, gorgeous artwork, beautiful girls. Look at those covers. That's so realistic. And then, of course, I also have Video Girl Eye, which I don't know if even some of y'all know what a video is, but I guess this would have to be Digital Girl Eye. Did they ever do a sequel? Digital Girl Eye? That's genius if they didn't. It's about a video girl that comes to life and hooks up with this lonely loser. But there were original um, oversized manga of these, like the original trade paperbacks, and then they released the smaller volumes. And The Baron from Whisper of the Heart, not The Cat Returns. And <laughs> some of the stuff that I decided to keep because I reviewed. Uh, this is Free Collar's Kingdom. I think it was the artwork that really uh, did it for me. It's ridiculous. I think it's about kittens, if I remember, because I remember reviewing these for Del Rey when they used to send me books. 
but I really enjoy the artwork. And I think that's what sometimes, just like in comic books, American and European, sometimes I get stuff for the artwork. This is my wife's collection. Melanie, what is this? Cowboy booty on the cover. Man, I haven't written, that, written, I haven't read, I have not read these in years. Masters in English, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. masters in English. I think I had them in my classroom for people to read. Yeah, so one of these is the direct follow-up to the TV series, if I'm not mistaken, and the other I one... I forgot those existed. Now Shooting Star is the follow-up, ah! right? Like where he faked his own death or something? Ah, I didn't read it. No Longer Human, this is the complete series. Um, this is one of those rare manga that reads from left to right and out of print. It's very rare, but it's so good. Um, make sure I don't turn to any not safe for work pictures here. Did I already? Did I, I don't know. Uh, you went there, fast. there are some that I can't really show, but I didn't know if it was like I want to say an alien eye or a nipple. Maybe both. And yeah, there's all three of them, and then Velveteen mandala and of course what's michael like i said very excited that dark horse is reprinting these they're ridiculous stories by makoto kobayashi lydia um, read them yeah our daughter read them like years ago about a cat sometimes he's part of the mafia sometimes he's a house cat hijinks all right let's keep moving or this video is going to take forever uh flowers of evil and then I decided to get the oversized Flowers of Evil. I believe there's only four of these volumes, so I need to get the rest. Because I did not want to track down the other ones. My, this is my wife's uh, collection right here. Oh she, my goodness, she, all right. Please comment if you know where to find any of the missing volumes. <laughs> because it has been my mission for years. <laughs> Silly manga. Whenever I go to a comic store, used bookstore, because um, they're out of print, to find any volumes I don't have um, just for fun it's not like it's spectacular but I just I love the artwork and the ridiculousness of this guy um, Jan I don't know how to iron walk Jan is what I call it um, the ridiculousness of how powerful of a cook he is and comp on competing and blah 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 you may like food wars honestly we started watching it oh yeah and then we forgot uh, here's one of the Sergeant Frog characters. We'll put him down here for right now to talk about Master Keaton on um, another work by Naoki Urasawa This one actually I think these come with the original color and then semi-color pages. I love everything this guy has done now, let's see what's back here. Love Hina, which uh, Spun out and they did an anime. It's a harem manga, but I want to say there were omnibuses of these released later on, and believe it or not, I think Peter David did some of the American translate, not translation, but the Americanized dialogue for some of these when they were originally coming out in uh, Tokyo Pop magazine or Tokyo Pop. That was one of their earlier. That's one of the earlier stuff I picked up from Tokyo Pop. Oh, and my girl right here. Not writing bean. That was probably the wrong picture. Uh, <laughs> of course, I'm talking about L Rally Vincent, Gunsmith Cat. This is the omnibus edition from Dark Horse. Oh my God! It takes place in Chicago. Has one of the best cars ever. Look at that. Look at the artwork. Oh my God! I love, love Gunsmith Cat. Um, I watched the anime first, it was an OAV, and then I was I was hooked on the manga from Dark Horse, and I'm glad they reprinted them in the proper omnibus format. And there was a follow-up, it was called Gunsmith Cat's Burst. I don't think these have been collected in omni format, but yeah, same good artwork. There's my boy, Bean. And then, back here, what have I got? Sorry, see, this is what takes forever, I gotta put these things back after I talk about them. Uh, let's see what we got back. Yourself. Uh, quiet, quiet, quiet here. Yeah. yeah, the backing behind it, you pushed it out. Oh, way. it's fine. These aren't billies. Uh, go on. A little dinosaur with no words, just the pictures. Oh, man. These are awesome. These have been reprinted. They were originally printed, I want to say, CMX, which was, uh, part, pan oh, what was it called? Pandora? 
Paradox. Paradox Press, part of DC's label, they wanted to start bringing some manga over. Well, DC ended up with the rights again, and then CMX, which was another label by DC that just focused on manga and shortly lived, decided to publish these. And then since then, I think they've been published by, I think Kadansha now owns the rights to the books. And then we have Parasite, originally published by Tokyo Pop here in America. And these are the Del Rey versions. I really enjoyed Parasite. Yes. I like their relationship. And it gets dark towards the end, if I remember. Like, um, So the new anime is what's based on this creepy, awesome story. And there were eight volumes of that collected. And I, I want to say they've been reprinted since then. Um, moving on, the down here is Wolfsmund. This is the guy that was a background artist for Kentaro Miura on Berserk. So his artwork is very reminiscent of Berserk a little bit. Um, but I really, really love the artwork and that's what made me buy these. And I think some of them started going out of print. We saw complete flowers, which we'll move up here. Battle Angel Alita, Last Order. These are the omnibuses. Um, uh, these kind of omnis really aren't that well put together. I wish they had... It I wish it's really thick. It is thick. It's three. It's yeah. they're three and ones, and they're not finished. They went all the way up to volume nineteen, so this collects the first fifteen volumes. But these are the only five omnis. I'm hoping with the box set of the original Alita that it did so well. I know it did well that they will release a deluxe box set of Last Order. Even though Last Order isn't my favorite story, I, I would be all over that shit. Okay, moving on to the back here put these guys up here um <laughs> some of these I, I just remember from my days of reviewing books like uh these little hard covers i remember i kept these for my daughters Are they right? i think lydia read this one it's just a little short uh children's book ah uh, sadly a book that this is vampire princess miu and this is just volume five they're impossible to find I want to say that this are CMP, if I'm not mistaken, or stu oh, Iron Cat Studios, even worse. The, those guys have been long gone, so I don't know who owns the rights to that now. The Lychee Light Club. Oh shit, this this is dark. I can't show that. Uh, okay. Published by a Vertical. Azumanga Dio, Pipochu, Tropic of the Sea. Pipochu. <laughs> it's one of these ridiculous books. I remember they sent me this for print. Uh, or to oh, review. I like the cover. Yeah, but it's all sexualized. It's actually done by an American artist, Felipe Smith. It's not Can a manga manga. Can you not show manga. the inside? Uh, let me take there's a chance here. Okay, yeah, there's some of the inside. Um, there we go. But it's over-sexualized and violent. Gotcha. And it's freaking awesome and hilarious. I remember reviewing it and really liking it. So I couldn't put it on in the magazine, so I had to. I think I reviewed it for I the website. Know. I was actually looking at it, not through the camera, so it might have been <laughs> a little out of the shot. Tropic of the All sea. right, look through the camera. Helter Skelter, Street Fighter Ryu. Oh man, the Gooing Saga. These are based on the novels, and there was an anime adaptation of this. But fantasy, you got me at fantasy. Like anytime there's fantasy manga, I'm there. Uh, You've never seen Juko Mizuno. I don't know if I can show any of this. This no, this is some creepy, not. awesome, what looks like kids artwork, but it gets into sex and violence and S and M and just weird uh, cannibalism. It's, they're just weird. Uh, if you've been reading the, I can't show every one of these books, so I'm just gonna go start going through them. Uh, you recognize that name? That is Yoshikazu. Yasuhiko, and not because I can read, but he is the guy that was doing the, oh, what the heck is it called? It's pretty. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Origin. That's what he's been doing. And these are all in color. They're beautiful books. This is Joan, uh, based on Joan of Arc. And this is Comics One, another publisher that's been long gone. See, that's the thing about us that have been collecting manga for over 20 years. We just, some of these publishing houses have been gone for so long. And then, but we also miss out on a lot of the new stuff that's out. Uh, so let's look back here. Oh, man, see, I could talk about each one, each shelf for so long. Then we have, let's see, Love Song, for Shoujo Story, Samurai Crusader, Tutera. Ro oh, the hell, there it is, my Robotech book. <laughs> to the stars. Check this out, check this shit out. Look at this. Look at that. Jim Lee, 
part of Wildstorm Studios, Jim Lee drew the first couple of pages of Robotech. Not Macross, Robotech. I know it's blasphemous, but I don't care. I love Robo. Um, Strain, another, oh my, Ryochi Kagami work, Pixie Junket, to Tori Koro, Cannon God Exaxion, which went on hiatus and never came back in America. All right, let's move on down. The complete Excel Saga collection here. Finally finished all that out. Uh, it took me a long time. I remember buying volume one and I'm like, this is the manga I'm going to buy every month <laughs> or every time it comes out. And I never did. It took me like 10 years to finish it out, but I'm glad that Viz finished it. Uh, Orange, which I just recently picked up in my home. I don't even know what the hell this is. This is a... Um... You know, every once in a while, people still, like, publishers still send me books. Send me it's been a while, though. Okay, let's look oh, back I here. Oh, I see one of mine back there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's the Manhwa, which is Korean. It's Ragnarok, also in on hiatus and probably never coming back. But I really like that, so much so that I bought the first box set. And then we have, uh, what's back here, Trigun. Mm -hmm. Man, I love. I, I was going to talk about Trigun. I'm going to pull one out. I love the story of Trigun. I love the anime. And I love the art, but it was hard for me to read. It's I could hard not to follow. I could not follow the fight scenes. And with the sound effects being so huge and on top of everything, just. It gave me a little bit of a headache. And. Because it's really important to me when I read or even watch a fight scene. If it's just everywhere, like, I really want to know step by step. And if it's everywhere, I can't, I, um, I can't enjoy it as well. Oh, Old manga thing. reader problems. I know, I have the same problem. I have a hard time following. There was another manga that I just read recently that I'm like, oh, the oh, hell yes, hell girl. Then this is one that's based on the anime, not the other way around. And here is, actually, let's do this. Let's get this is back it? in. Is this is one of my wives. BB explosion? What the hell is this? like, yes, I'm right. <laughs> this is the kind of crap oh, that she would review. Okay. Here, open the pages, open the pages. No, we're wasting a, time. No, we're not. We have such a soft spot for girly, uh, romantic, cutesy manga that gives me goosebumps. Like, you can do it. I think this is dancing. Yeah, she's learning to dance. And, oh, she's got difficulties. But you can do it. Persevere. I, I need to reread it. I remember I when, it's been like it was, uh, it was ten years. It was Viz that sent me some of those, and they were like, "Hey, would you be interested in reviewing these?" And I'm oh, like, I "No, the shit out of that." <laughs> I'll let my wife do it, <laughs> or actually, my fiance or girlfriend at the time. Uh, here is no. Gaunt. If it was ten years ago, how long have we married? Golly. Here is Gantz, uh missing some of the later volumes because my brothers. Wow. Are Wait. Them. They're just buying, right? Yeah. Did he put them back? <laughs> no, he's an idiot. <laughs> They're probably sitting somewhere on a shelf. Uh, here's Crying Freeman. I love that stuff. This is uh, about an assassin and the 108 dragons. It's probably... Oh, can't show that. Not safe for work. Uh, oh, well, which epic. is a, a lot of that. It's Ryocho, Ryochi Ikigami's. It's the first time I was ever introduced to his artwork. And he has this really realistic art style. I absolutely love this. Um... But, you know, a lot of people don't really like it. Uh, here, actually, if you keep going down here, here's a bunch of Ryochi Ikigami's work right here. Comics 1 stuff. And moving on. Oh, down. I saw the Suicide Kingdom. Yeah, Sayonara Setsu, Setsu, Setsubo Sensei. It was okay. I didn't really get into it. I, I like the concept, but... That was another series that got discontinued, sadly. Because when Kanacha started publishing all of Del Rey's work, Knights of Sidonia, which has a master's edition now that I want to get. What the hell is this? <gasps> oh, Yoko Ano. I forgot about her. No, 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 no. I want to talk about her. Oh, her artwork well, is Yoko awesome. Yoko Ano. Sorry, we had to find some pages that were safe just the, for work. Just their faces being just kind of exaggerated. I really enjoyed it. There we go. She, was it hot gimmick that she did? I can't remember. No, well, maybe. I can't remember. We have Children of the Sea and Limit. Now, Limit was, I think, some of the last, if I'm not mistaken, was it Tokyo Pop that released these? Or no, Vertical. Vertical started doing a new line of like little small books, but they never really took off. As you can tell, like they're a lot smaller than most of your standard size manga. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. 
Okay. No, sir. I don't like it. All right, Mrs. Horse. <laughs> uh, moving down to the bottom is um, a shelf that breaks my heart. It because... does, because Boys Over Flowers is down there. Okay, first of all, screw that book. <laughs> no, it's two titles that have been discontinued. One, Sergeant Frog, and then Bastard. And, okay, I'll let you talk about Boys Over Flowers here in a second, but Bastard was a favorite of mine. It's about this guy, Dark Schneider. Um, <laughs> what I loved about this is the mangaka, the creator of the series, was a huge fan of 80s heavy metal bands in America. So like the castles and the magical spells, they're all named after some kind of like like heavy metal band in America. Um, like D. Schneider, of course, Twisted Sister, and then you had like Metallica, Metallica or something. Uh, and what's down there? Then we have Boys Over Flowers. Oh, just to know I'm bastard. I really did enjoy it in the art, but then after a while I got over the repetitiveness of it. And I just kind of, I felt like the story started to get stale. Like it, if it was shorter and more concise, then it would have been better. But look how good his artwork is. No, got. it is. Like I would buy but the Lux editions of I'm these. I'm more for the story. Like if they started coming out with the Lux editions of these, I would be all over them. Yeah, they, definitely the art is amazing. But uh, if the story's not, speak it to me then the art doesn't carry okay and then let's see what else we got down here let's see if we can see uh there's castle of dreams dark side blues and then the mermaid saga rumiko takahashi's another reason i'm doing this is so i can keep tabs of where my books are so i believe i have this poster somewhere in this room i don't like the artwork but i don't care it just has a charm to me boys over flowers and they made a live action show of this, didn't they? Um, it, it It's just about this, you know, school girl that's not popular. And then these popular boys all over her. And it's unbelievable. And the whole story's about which one she goes with. Love it. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. Uh, this, this one's way up here. Here we have Helsing. All the volumes of Helsing. I'm surprised we don't have a deluxe edition of those yet and the complete collection of Ayori Ayoshi back there and Kitchen Princess Kitchen Princess that's my wife number three of my top ten mangas not really <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it had recipes in it that you could actually make and I was too scared to do it I was okay. like I don't know what those ingredients are that's awesome so uh, Monster Monster's awesome though another Naoki Urasawa's work that has been translated and put in perfect edition and in the back there is the complete fruits basket and museum of terror that i refuse to give up these were long out of print they're junji ito's work a lot of this actually all of this has already been reprinted in uh two of viz's books which i'll show here in a little bit moving down to the best shelf ever and that is of course berserk You've got all of Berserk that's been translated into English. And then you have his other work, Kentaro Miura's work that's been translated into English. This uh, Giganto Maxia, which is about, it's kind of like, I want to say, uh, what's it called? Uh, Attack on Titan. You have Gut Sword. But I know I go on about Berserk. What's back there? Oh, there's another Mayoko Ano book. It's uh, Flowers and Bees. Oh, oh, give me what? You want to talk about it? No, I just want to read it. Thank what you. What the hell? I'm doing a show. <laughs> and then my, another one of my wife's uh, series, Kami, Kamikaze Kaitojin. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that? Is that about Joan of Arc? Like, yeah, like a magical girl mm, story. Okay. Then you have Offered, another Ryochi Ikigami work, uh, written by Kazuo Koike, which is the guy that did Lone Wolf and Cup. There's Old Boy, which they did a movie of both in America and in Korea. And uh, some more manhwa that's been discontinued. Priest, you know how many volumes, 14 volumes of that. And then, oh, it's back here. Ah, oh, Neon Genesis, Evangelion, Angelic Days, all six volumes of that. I think that's been collected in a perfect collection. And we have Kuro, is that Kurogame? Kurogane, first three volumes of that. And Blackgate. Okay, and here we have all of Bleach, uh, double stacked. Uh, it's sad because the series turned out to be disappointing towards the end. And in the back there we have 
all new Tenchi Muyo, which is a follow up to the Tenchi Muyo series that was, I don't think they ever re no, they did re release them in smaller volumes. And they're back there. And also, uh, there were 10 volumes of that. And then Scary Book, which is a horror anthology series. What else is back here behind Bleach? Oh, wait a minute. I remember uh, Portis, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Sakuran, which is another Moyoko Ano. I actually like this one here. This one's really cool. I like the glow. Uh, it's like a chromium cover to it. I believe that was vertical that released that. Alice 19th, same uh, lady that did Fushigi Yugi. Yu Watase. Kikaider. Kikaider 2. Oh, hell. Please save my earth is back here. The complete series. Another one of those series that. I really enjoyed late or late 80s, early 90s manga, and let me see if I can show you some of the artwork in here. This is the kind of artwork in here. Some of these are out of print. I don't know if Viz will ever bring them back into print because it's just the story was. I, I really enjoyed the story, but um, I know that some people probably didn't care for it. It went on too long. And there's all 21 volumes of that. Here we have Kosuke Fujishima's masterpiece, Oh My Goddess, or Oh My Goddess. As such a crush on, nope, not that dude. Uh, where is she? <laughs> there it's she like is. <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> Bell Dandy. I just absolutely love this. This is, I guess, it's an early harem manga about a goddess, three goddesses that end up living with. This guy right here, Kaichi. Oh man, what a cute story. Just beautiful artwork. He's the same guy that did You're Under Arrest. And then we have two of Akira Toriyama from Dragon Ball Z, not or lesser known series, Koa, which is a little vampire book, and then Sandland, which both of these are all in ones. And I know people want to see my top 10 favorite manga of all time. Well, spoilers, this 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 is definitely on there. And then all of Inuyasha back here. I didn't get any of the Viz big editions. I just stuck to my normal Viz edition. But all 56 volumes of that and moving on to the next shelf. Uh, so yeah, this is a mix of some books that are out of print or still in print, still coming out. I still need to finish out. This is Mobile Suit Gundam. This is what I was showing off earlier. Um, Yoshisak Yoshikazu Yasuhiko's artwork. But unlike Joan, these are not colored. These are black and white. Some of the pages are colored though, like such. It's a retelling of uh, the Gundam stories. Uh, Soul Leader, which is still an ongoing manga, I believe. And let's shift these over and see what's back here. I believe there's some out of print stuff back here. Ah, uh, yeah. Twin Speaker. Twin Speaker. I love I this stuff. I, I did too. Mm -hmm. And see, damn it, they're, like, these are out of print, and I don't think they'll ever come back into print. Sadly, because like they were literally doing us a favor by printing um, the last three. They were losing money printing the last three, volumes 10, 11, and 12. And it was one of my favorite. I remember like they, they couldn't even send me any for review except for this one here, advanced reading copy, not for sale. Um, so this is the very first one that I reviewed, and I was like, oh my god, I'm hooked. It's about a little girl. Uh, who has an imaginary friend, Mr. Lion, and she wants to go to space. That's it. It reminded me of Gunbuster. I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with the characters, the artwork, and damn it, it didn't sell enough. Like, people were not buying it, and by the time volumes 9, 10, 11, and 12 were out, they were just losing money. Samurai Deeper Kyo, a series started by Tokyo Pop. Uh, Short-lived anime series. And... Tokyo Pop went bankrupt. <laughs> He went bye bye. So what ended up happening with this series? Oh, didn't talk about them. Um, was the last two volumes were omnibuses of volumes 35, 36, and 37 and 38, and they were printed by Delray. So we got to finish that out. And here's Solonin. Good cute. That's the same guy that did Goodnight Poon Poon and Double Man. The classic going to guy stuff. That's cute. That is not cute. Yeah, that is, is that cover. Badass. And I need to get volume two. I really like the classic collection stuff. They're hardcovers. Uh, they've got like uh, Battleship Yamato and Captain Harlock, which I'll be picking up 
because I've been wanting to get those. Down here we have the Vinland Saga. I need to get volume 10. Purgatory Kabuki. God bless. Look at this artwork. Oh, I had a it, card, like an advertisement. Yeah. I for years in my classroom because I like the artwork. The artwork is awesome. It's kind of hard to follow the action sequences, but God bless. This is so amazing. I can't even remember who sent me this for a review. Was it? Show, I didn't get the front. There we go. It was DGN production. DR Masters. That's who sent me these books. And I think they only released one volume. I could be wrong. No, by the way, uh, in the back there, all of Naruto's in the back, so I'm sure everybody has that in their collection by now. Black Lagoon, uh, which I found pretty cheap. Volumes one, let's see, two, three. I need to get volume five, apparently, and six. I don't know how many there are, but I got some of these really cheap. Cross Game and more Naruto. There's my boy Ultraman. And uh, moving on down here, this is Shinobi. He's the house ninja. Yeah, you guys got to see Strider, but Shinobi doesn't make appearances. This is Air Gear oh, by Old Great. Uh, another ongoing series. There's a series that makes me unhappy back there because I can't find some of the volumes. And that is Basara. I want to say it's like volume 23. That's almost impossible to find. So I have like 15, 16, 17, 18, missing 19, 20, 21. Oh no, I do have 23. Uh, 24 is the one I'm missing. And then whatever else is there. 27 and on. Oh, good night, Poon Poon. Yeah, there's good night, Poon Poon. I love the I way- I forgot I was reading that. I need I to never, read it. I never finished it because it's- Oh, it's because it got me suppressed. It, not depressed, but it's so heavy. I'm like, I need to it break. Is, it is heavy. It's such a good book. Let's see what's in the back there. Here's Greenwood. Oh, wait, but can I just say really quick, the, the cover is what got me interested. And that's how the he draws uh, is it the main character or himself? It's the main is character. It, the main character um, is always in uh, that character design. It's like a little and bird. And his family. Yeah. yeah. And everybody else. I love his, his artwork. It's so great, though. Um, in the back there is Here's Greenwood. Oh, and Footy Cooty, which they've done an omnibus of. Which I probably need to get. Oh, and then we have Bunny Drop, which I need to get the last volume. I think there's a volume 10. And let's see, back here we have Voices of a Distant Star, this guy. Uh, oh, hell, this is uh, the guy that did Blade of the Immortal. This is his other manga. It's like an anthology of work. The Ringu. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Melanie, how do you say this French name? Uh, yeah. Le Cheval. It's a very beautiful cover. Yes, look at that freaking cover. <laughs> Actually, flip through here. It's really great artwork. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. They had an anime of this, which the art style in the anime is a lot different than the art style in the manga. But it's still pretty solid. She had dead eyes. Let's see. And what else do we have back here? Oh, I think that's it over there. Then we have Halik and Nagima. And then we have Blame in the back here. Uh, I need to get the rest of Blame Master Editions because I believe there is five of those. There's Rave Master. Again, Tokyo Pop went bankrupt and then Kadansha had to print the last uh, omnibuses of 33, 34, and 35. Let's see what else is back here. More Rave Master. Oh, hell. Samurai Shampoo. Lupin the Third. Yep, Lupin the Third. Which I never did finish that. Then oh, look how cute he is. Rest in peace, Monkey Punch. He passed away last year. But man, that guy, he, <laughs> he outlived a lot of other creators. So, I love these His little, art is it's interesting. Very, it's very, it's uh, scribbly. it reminds me of like Mad Magazine artwork. Yeah. So wait, but very unique for a manga, manga style back then. Yeah. Zombie Powder. I wanted to point this out. This is uh, Tai Kubo's work right before he did, of course, Bleach. And it was only four volumes. I don't think anybody really talks about Zombie Powder. And then Samurai Shampoo manga. Okay, over here we have the Speed Racer manga, Pluto. And it's the aforementioned Urasawa. Cat Eyed Boy. Remember that? It's really creepy. Drifting Life, 
and I love Halloween, which I never see anybody talk about because it's not really manga, but it was printed by Tokyo Pop. It's about these kids that go on a killing spree during Halloween. It's gory, but it looks cartoony, and it is written by Keith Giffen of Justice League International fame. I am Hero. I did an overview of the first 10 omnibuses. In the back there is Card Captor Sakura. These are the original Tokyo Pop Omnis. Uh, oh God, uh, actually, most of my clamp stuff is on this shelf. There is X, another series that went on hiatus, sadly. So there's only six volumes of that. Hopefully, one day they'll f ladies will finish it out. And shit, I need to get RG Veda Volume Two. I only got Volume One. What the hell? Uh, okay, and moving on to the next shelf is the rest of I Am Hero, and then the complete O oh Great Tenjo Tenge with beautiful women and amazing fight sequences. Thank you to my lovely assistant, the astonishing Melanie, for helping me with the artwork. Yeah. Now the series was originally published by CMX, but it was weird, like CMX <laughs> they covered up a lot of the nudity, but they didn't cover up the rape scene. Like, there's this supposed rape scene, and they were like, it was like a rape scene with clothes on. So, it was really weird. And one of my favorite things I own. I think I, I love this so much, I gave my dad one. She's a character from the manga back here. So, here we have some more clamp work. Legal drug. The two big, gigantic Chobits books, because I think these are like one in four. I think Kadansha now owns a right, the rights to most of these, so I'm thinking that we may get the Lux editions like we're getting of the Card Capture Sakura. And I'm hoping with Card Capture Sakura we'll get a box set. Speaking of box sets, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. Not me. Mm -hmm. Here's one of Maddie's favorite books that is on hiatus from Dark Horse. The Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service. Magic Knight Ray Earth, which are getting two deluxe hardcover editions. From Kadansha, Angelic Lair, Princess Eye, the Ultimate Edition. I want to say this is, uh, what's her name? Courtney Love wrote that. Uh, Genshiken, or it's based on Courtney Love, I'm sorry. And then Genshiken Omnibus Volumes 1, 2, and 3. That's the complete series. I don't have the second ones yet. Uh, moving on down. Here is JoJo's. I've made it to part two. Or part, um, what is this? Yeah, part two, number one. I don't get that at all. I, it's I, it's okay, but people keep swearing up and down that it keeps getting better and better, so I don't know. Um, I love the fact that the art style is very like Fist of the North Star. That's what really, really gets me to keep reading this. And I'm hoping one day we'll get the Lux editions of Fist of the North Star. Uh, this is something completely different right here. This is Marmalade Boy. This is nothing like those over-muscular dudes. And I need to finish that out. I think there's seven or eight of these. Okay, moving back here, another uh, clamp work. We have Tokyo Babylon and Clover. And, and these are genuinely in my top ten. I love these four oh. models. Oh god, yeah, this is uh, Junji Ito's work. Uh, Museum of Terror, by the way, is collected in Sh uh, Shiver and Tomie. I think he has another book that just came out. The hell's wrong with me? I don't have it yet. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Order it right now. A lot is wrong with me. So here's his artwork. Oh, leaves? Okay. There we go. Yeah. This is Tomie, which is really freaking creepy and disturbing images and right up my alley. I know an old reader, new reader, we did do Uzumaki, but Tomie, I think, is the one for me that really creeps the shit out of me. <laughs> I like how, it, because it distorts people, humans, that's scared to me if it's just a monster. Like, the humans get distorted. I don't know, the fish and... Fish? I mean, for the most part. Creepy on that. Uh, moving down. Yeah, it's a human distorted. Here we have Urasawa. Uh, what else is down here? A slime. Five centimeters per second. Oh my god, how big this omnibus is. What the hell is this? Auto? <laughs> I don't even know. Like some of the stuff that I kept when they Fight? used to. No, this okay. is when they used to send me stuff. Are you? 
Um, like, I don't even know what this is. It kind of reminds me of Clamp. Maybe that's why I decided to keep it. Or maybe I, de I just decided to keep it because it's such a big, thick-ass book that I was like, oh, I gotta keep that. No one's gonna believe me. But now there's a Death Note book that knocks this out of the water, so... The Death Note's all in one. Here's Attack on Titan. I need to get Volume 5. And Fairy Tale. Also Volume 5, but I think they just discontinued this series of uh, Master Editions. I think they're gonna go back to just box sets or something. Okay, moving on to the next shelf, which is not really a shelf, but it's my stack. And that is Lone Wolf and Cub. I know, what kind of monster stacks is Lone Wolf and Cub like that? Uh, me. That's who. Same kind of monster that stacks his colored Akira comics over here from Epic. These are the books that have the color pages by Steve O'Liff and company and have not been reprinted at least in america i know i've shown them off when i did my akira box set but these are it right here and lone wolf and cub is the best samurai story ever it's amazing and tiny i wish they would like go back and do these in big deluxe editions this is where I keep my Akira box set and my Berserk Deluxe Editions. Okay, and over here we have the Ghost in the Shell box set, the Battle Angel Alita box set, Nausicaa Valley of the Wind box set, uh, one of my favorite Katsuhiro Ultimo books that was printed in England. This is Memories. Then they did a manga, or I mean a, an anime. And then Legend of Mother Sarah, which I hope one day Dark Horse finishes printing those. Appleseed, Black Magic, these are all done by Masumini Shiro, and then Ghost in the Shell, which is up here. Why do I have two copies? Because I'm an idiot. Then some of the big Dark Horse manga collections, like Caravan Kid and Outlanders. Uh, CPM manga also did collections like this, Maxion Aquarium, and then Seal Buster, there's High School of the Dead. Ah, uh, Tekon Kincrete, that's black and white. Uh, Melody, you want to talk about some, what, what are those box sets up there? Whoa, that's dusty. Don't judge us. Okay. Aha, look at that, right to left, the numbers. Now there is, uh, yeah, the Eternal Editions are coming out from Viz, I believe, now instead of Kanansha. Gorgeous. But these Thank are the box sets. Thank you, my husband, for buying these for me because Sailor Moon is my hero. I love her so much. So we've got the collection here and we have Sailor V. And before this came out though, my husband's very nice and got a candle and loaded up. Oh yeah, the, the untranslated uh, Sailor V stuff. And that was really cool. I love Sailor V too. But Sailor Moon's better. We got uh short stories which is really cool a part of these collections battle royale <laughs> you, got, you gotta be careful when you show this all right well this is some of the most advisory. okay this one's okay graphic <laughs> will make you feel dirty in a ah, good wicked let's, way let's see um, there we go just oh man some of the stuff man, that happens in people here people are evil these kids are evil evil to survive the Battle Royale. Yeah, there were five volumes of the Ultimate Editions. They're hardcovers. Oh, Hopefully, look, man. Oh, yeah. It Student tells you who's, roster. Who's, dead, who's dead. Hopefully one day somebody that owns the rights to the manga will release it. I know the book rights is owned by somebody else here in America, too. Uh, and then we have art books, which I'll talk about in another episode if you all want me to, because this episode will go on forever. Um, then we have some more big manga like Natisco, Dark Angel, both by Kia Asamiya, who also did Solid Mobius, Geo Breeders, Record of Lotus War, Time Traveler Eye, what is this here? This is Claw, Dark, Claw, Dark, what the hell is that? Some of these things they used to send me for review, I don't remember, Venus Wars Volume 1, this is Adam Warren's Bubblegum Crisis right here, then you have Street Fighter, oh, 3x3 three three Eyes, there's another series that I wish that they would continue doing in America. I love that manga and I love the anime and I wish they would continue. Sanctuary, Ryochi Ekigami, Mai the Psychic Girl, and 
Manga Sutra. Nobody talks about that. <laughs> Wait, I think I reviewed that, didn't I? Yeah, you yeah. did many years ago. <laughs> and yeah, we didn't need that in this house. And then we have Kabuto. Midnight oh my goodness, Eye. you skipped. Zeno Gears. Oh, I love my wife's you so much. Favorite video game. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, well, that's enough it's of that. Title Twelve Fantasy did. And then we have, oh, hell, look at this. This is like something that, Shadow Lady? Man, that's a class. well, it was a classic for me. Blood, the Last Vampire, <laughs> gray, bowel graphic novel. I always think of Blood, the Last Vampire. Nope, nope, stop that. He's stop it, stop it. That's, that's not a song, that's Denver. <laughs> oh, Marionette Generation. This is, uh, what's his name? Oh, how do, oh, Haruhiko Mikimoto, the guy that did uh, Macross. The artwork in Macross. He did this. Okay, we can't show the inside of this one, but look at the cover of Junko Mizuno's. Uh, we we showed you some over there. Hell Babies, like it's um, textured, soft. It's a really cool book. I, I remember can't you, show the inside. You got me that because you were like, he's not Christmas. buying himself that. I love the artwork in this and Basilisk. There's Samurai Showdown, Street Fighter, Fist of the North Star, one of the few volumes that I own because another series that was discontinued, Striker, Xenon, Sham Shaman Warrior, another series that's been long out of print, Hyper Dolls, volumes one, two, and three, but just the artwork in this right here is phenomenal. This is Basilisk. I watched the anime and actually no, I read the manga first. And I fell in love with the artwork. It's got some CG like Gaunt's, but I think it really works with this. It was a solid uh, manga and just adventure. Lots of nudity, sex, and violence. Right up my alley. Uh, and then this is Domu, A Child's Dream. This is another Katsuhiro Otomo book series. Th this was all done in one. It was collected in one book eventually. And good thing, I heard recently that... I think Kodansha is going to publish this book again. It's a very old Katsuhiro Otomo, but after after he did Akira, he went on to do this. It's creepy. Um, <laughs> but this old dude. But man, it's so good. It looks like Robot Carnival. It reminds me of uh, actually the artwork uh, from Rojin Z, who was also Katsuhiro Otomo. But yeah, these are coming back into print. These are very rare, but good thing. Now everybody can enjoy it. What I wish, and I'll show you guys here. This is worth checking out. I'm gonna pull it out. It's uh, the book. By the way, it's a good time to remind you to hit that like button. Please smash that like button if you're enjoying the tour. Uh, memories. Like I said, I bought this, uh, God bless, this is t over 20 years ago. It's an anthology uh, collection. They made a movie and it's just oversized and I hope one day either Kodansha, Vertical, Vis, somebody decides to reprint this in a hardcover format. Now I know, I believe, yeah, one of the stories is in, yeah, The Rose. I love this story. It's done in color, complete color. And the color is done, if you may recognize it, it's the Steve O'Liff colors, the same guys that recolored Akira. And here's some more stuff it's just an anthology of like 10 actually no it's got like 15 different stories in here so that is memories okay now moving on to the next shelf this is Ayn from Cowboy Bebop adorable uh, Vagabond hot gimmick Neon Genesis Evangelion the way that Saramoto decided he wanted to end the series not the way that uh, I don't decided to do it so <laughs> This takes a long time to do, but I wanted to showcase some of the artwork in here. And this is Vagabond. It's beautiful, probably some of the best artwork ever. I still think that Lone Wolf and Cub is my favorite samurai story, but this comes close. And the only reason I choose Blade of the Immortal over this is because Blade of the Immortal is finished. This is not. So the ending could be terrible. And here's some of the colored pages. If you do, if you did see something in my collection that you want me to showcase, I would be more than happy to do so. Just leave in the comments down below, and maybe I can do like a monthly show where I showcase a manga. But I do want to show some of the artwork in Evangelion because I. Oh, you know what? Bring it down. Thank you. Absolutely love it. Oh yeah, sorry, my lovely assistant's arms are getting tired because it does. It takes. It's good exercise. It is. Just look at this. Yeah, that motorcycle, right? 
<laughs> She's too skinny. She is too All skinny. All the females are too skinny. Uh, Shinji, you whiny little puss boy. But I guess all the males are too skinny too. But I just love his artwork. It's beautiful and yeah. It ends a lot different than the anime. Like it start, it, it is like the anime at first and then it ends differently and I appreciate the ending. Um, it t and it ties it into the movies too. Like I said, I don't have the time to showcase everything but I'll go through here uh for shiki yugi the big this big edition dragon ball this is the way that i like to own dragon ball i know there's box sets i know there's omnibuses but i really like dragon ball like this and then dragon ball z and the reason i like it for the most part it keeps about 80 percent of the color pages so 80 percent of the color pages and then these pages here but yeah doesn't keep them all and this is the this big edition <laughs> Goodness. There is my from my neighbor Totoro. And all right, here is a wonderful little bookmark that my wife made for me. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Uh, Death Note, which I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I do know because I just recently bought the big uh, black editions. There is in the background here, or behind Banana Fish. This is a complete Banana Fish. I did a quick little haul on that earlier last month. Uh, GTO, the early years back there. Sadly, Tokyo Pop, like I said, went defunct, and Vertical ended up publishing the rest of the GTO, the early G year series. Uh, Death Note, The Cat Returns, Baron The Cat Returns. Oh, get that out for Lady of the Reef. Sure. Um, another one of my boy Hiroaki Samura's books. This is the guy that did Blade of the Immortal, and I love his artwork. It's gorgeous. And we're going to look at some of that art because I do have to showcase that. One Pound Gospel. Oh, man. It's about a boxer who falls in love with a nun. Rumiko Takahashi. <laughs> at her best. No. Come, come at me. Okay, yeah. Mace no, you're right. Cookie. You're right. Mace on the cookie is better. Shut up. Um, what else have we got here? Twee. Twee? What the hell's wrong with me? Cheese Sweet Home. <laughs> twee Sweet Home. Fugu Fugu. Ninja Slayer. Which Alicia loves Cheese Sweet Home. Yeah, she does. It's our youngest daughter. Eden. <laughs> They stopped publishing at number 14, but I got these fan translation ones online. Mm. Uh, Yotsuba, volumes one through nine. But what's in the I back? I love here? Yotsuba. That's so same um, Kiko Hiko, right? The, the same person that did Azumanga Dial. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look in the back here. What's back? So we have a mess. A yeah. <laughs> mess. I can't help. I'm going to the camera. No, you can't. I mean, you could. Oh, hell. There's where my doctor slump went. Okay. So, let me move some of this. See, this is why I, I did not want to do this, because I have to move things around, but you guys are worth it. Seriously, you've been patient with me. So, you have Lament of the Lamb, and that's all seven volumes of that. Tokyo Pop, all, all in there. And then Dr. Slump, Akira Toriyama's Dr. Slump. Long before Dragon Ball Z, there was Dr. Slump. I think these are all back in stock, so get them, because they are awesome and funny and just ridiculous. And there is Emma. You really liked Emma, didn't you? I did. I never gave it a try, because it looked boring. It is boring as shit. It's about Victorian <laughs> England and a maid in Victorian England. I don't care. Well, I do like boring stuff, though. I, ah, I loved it. There's my power drink. And Haru Hana, another series. I have no idea what the hell it was. Wild at Heart. I think that one's yours. Nope. And Alien 9, <laughs> which nice. I absolutely love, and Emulators. Oh, here's your little death by Jill Thompson manga. So cute. Oh, wait. It was, no, it's in the shop. Oh. There we go. Jill Thompson. Death. Manga. We have two of the Vampire Hunter D manga back here, based on the novels. And then the complete Blade of the Immortal. Uh, these are being released in omnibuses now by Dark Horse. Let me just pick one. Um, these are pretty cool because they're also done from left to right. But what's interesting about the left to right here is that they cut panels out. So they're not mirror images. This is actually the way it was printed in Japan. Well, with the exception of being left to right. But just gorgeous artwork. Some of the most beautiful death scenes and violent scenes I've ever seen in a manga. I mean, just look at that. Gorgeous. Uh, now... Could somebody let me know if in the com in the comments down below if the if the omnibuses have color pages? Because if they do, uh, damn it! <laughs> uh, thanks for letting me know because I, I'm gonna rebuy these. 
because I absolutely love this series. It's one of my, probably, spoilers, top 10 favorite manga of all time. I guess I do need to sit down and think about which books are my top 10. Can't all make it to my top 10. That's kind of dumb. All right, let's move these to the side. What we got in the back here? Whoa, no. See? I hope you guys are happy. No. We don't want to know what happened. Ugh, my manga. All right, so you have no need for Tenchi. This is the original series, but they're taller. I think they were released later on in smaller sizes. Uh, Record of Lotus War, um, The Chronicles of the Heroic Knight, and then the Welcome to Lotus War Island, which is a really cute little manga based on the original Record of Lotus War. Steam Detectives is Kia Asimiya, who went on and did, like, what, the heck, what was it that I showed over there? I can't even remember. Uh, something. They, did something. Oh, and they're Silent Mobius, what they're better known for. This series, and I forgot, the series was later published in English by Udon. Mm, I don't think Udon. Okay, no, the studio did Street Fighter and Art Wars. But I think Kia Asamiya has a very interesting style. I love the way that Asamiya draws faces and women. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, this is uh, Yukito Kishiro's Aqua Knight, the guy that did Battle Angel Alita. After Alita was finished, after he decided to do this, I love this series. There are only three volumes here, and it's one that I never hear anybody talk about. But probably because it only had one printing of them. There are only three volumes, they're all in here. There's Ghost in the Shell. Again, books that I decided to keep. Why? There's Vampire Princess Yui. Paradise Kiss. I really like the artwork in this. This is uh, Ai Yazawa. I'm surprised you didn't read this. This is more your Yeah, I like your the cover. Well, this is about fashion? Why the hell did I read this? While doing this video, I'm also, when you have the camera, I'm flipping through these old um, manga that were early that, you know, I enjoyed. And I don't think I'd enjoy it very much right now. Present. This is some creepy shit. Nobody talks about this. This is uh, CMX. There were actually three volumes, and I need to get the third one. Um, just a kind of reminds me of Hell Girl. This little girl was always giving people presents, and bad things happen to these people that get these presents. Most of them are kids. Man, this is some dark shit. I need to read that again. This is another series that I really like the artwork. Uh, Body on pay. But I don't think it finished in America. It, there were only, I think, three or four volumes. And one of my favorite series that I wish, I think this still owns the freaking uh, rights to, and that is. Tear it up. Pineapple Army. How could you not buy this book just by that cover? I remember I was at a comic book convention. This thing was like 25 cents. Somebody was throwing it really? away. Really? Yeah, I didn't even know what it was. I'm like, I'll take it. It's a quarter. And I've got a dollar left. It's got a dust jacket. Look at this thing. This is one of the earliest Viz books that was printed. I believe this is printed. Man, I want to say I found this like at a, at a comic convention in 1991. It was right before I went into high school. And it is... Uh, What's the name? Um, Naoki Urasawa's artwork. And the story is done by Kazuya Kudo. But man, I love this. And I want to say there were like 20 something volumes in Japan. And we only got one volume in America. And damn it to hell, I want it more. I fell in, this is when I uh, fell in love with his artwork. Over here we have Claymore, the complete series. And in the back here we have Battle Root. Uh, that's the original Battle Angel Alita release, 2001 Nights, Ogre Slayer, let's see what else is back here. Oh, there's my original Lum series, and those are coming back and uh, being reprinted by this, thank goodness, 80 Police, which takes place in the world of Bubblegum Crisis. These are little Oh My Goddess, Mini Goddess stories. Oh, let's see. And my wife wanted to talk about these books right here. So you've got Mason Kofu, the re-release, and the these are the original, right? The yep. taller. Yeah, those are the so original. That's what I read. Years and years ago, 
this is such a fun, romantic manga where I like every single character in it. I think it's Rumiko Takahashi's best story. I agree with that. And then you have Slayers up there. And Futa Bakun Change. I never mm -hmm. see anyone talk about that series. It's kind of like Ranma, except more perverted. Yeah, so Slayers 1 through 4 here, and then 5 through 7 up there. Also back here, not to be not mentioned, but you have Rumiko Takahashi World Trilogy Volume 1, 2, and 3. Um, one or double, and the Rumik Theater Collection. Um, love these. These are little anthology series. And the uh, bottom shelf here, we have all of Kenshin in the back. And then Celestial Legend Ceres. And this is uh, uh, Hiroki Endo's Tampush, Tampeshu. Karekano. Okay, now this, I think I would enjoy rereading it. Because it's a cheesy, girly manga, but it has more depth to the story about finding your own identity and confidence. I really like this. Um, yeah, the stu Guy in X Studio did a series on that. And then they ran out of money. And they ran out Gee, of money. Just like Evangelion. And Death Note, the Black Edition, in the back here is GTO. All of GTO. That was released by Tokyo Pop. And then GTO the what the hell is this 14 days shonen I, gosh damn it i need volumes five and six apparently and i guess that there's more of that damn it that's why i hate doing tours because it reminds me i need to spend more money this is the third time you said that okay moving on to the manga that's in the hall we have one piece over here uh my brothers are borrowing some of those volumes the later volumes and then we have subasa and Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, what is this over here? I think this is no longer. Is this? What is, oh, Seven Billion Needles. Yeah. Oh, I like Volumes. that. Yeah, this was solid. Another series that I think is out of print or hard to find. Some of these older manga just yeah, they didn't make enough copies of. And then we have the top shelf. This is top shelf like like liquor, I guess. We have some of Tezuka shelf. Mix them with some Legend of Zelda up here. And, and Super Mario and Adventures. That Super definitely belongs to the show. Yeah. <laughs> so you have Buddha. Oh, and then the Utna box set over here. Uh, Yako. All of this is the complete Blackjack collection. Dororo. Some of the Kickstarters here. The Crater. And Under the Air. Glass Castle. Mel Melody of Iron. And then the Anthology that I bought in Spain. And there's Tokyo Ghoul box set. Oh man, this is probably, if I had to pick one of my favorite shelves, then this is it right here. Uh, so here we have Message to Adolf, O2 Kirihito, Swallow Me Earth, Barbara, Atom Cat, Princess Knight, Twin Knights, Unico, Captain Ken, Ludwig, all best there. I really like those covers. The design of the covers are pretty cool. Uh, Crime and Punishment. I think this is the mysterious underground men. Uh, Lost World, Next World, Apollo Song, Tri Triton, Astro Boy. I don't have the Omnis because I think these are just good enough for me. Uh, I don't even know what this is. I see it every time I go down here to do laundry. This is the uh, Book of Human Insects, Brave Dan, Clockwork, Apple, and Storm Fairy, but I can't remember just what this is. Picture. Oh, uh, yeah, it's creepy. I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't, I don't think I've read this one. It's, I remember Vertical sent it to me a long time ago, but... Uh, <laughs> MW. That's what it is. MW. And I should have showcased some of his artwork, but... I didn't because I think Tasuka deserves at least an hour of his own work. When we went to Japan and we went to his uh, museum, it was really cool because you could sit there and just read any of his manga. And his manga shelves were just like all the shelves he saw plus more. Like he had that much work done. 
Um, let me see if I can pull out some of the blackjack stuff. Love his artwork in blackjack. Oh yeah, I read some of these. Yeah, these were great. These are some of my favorite. Um, man, I don't know what my favorite Tasuka work is though. Astro Boy speaks to the boy in me because that's what I grew up watching. But <laughs> I think Blackjack might be my favorite. Oh no, Buddha was solid too. I really enjoyed Buddha. Just because it was so real and, and, and it would be like, I don't know, telling the story of Jesus with ridiculous little characters. Um, let me just, sh yeah, if you want to showcase some of the Buddha artwork. Uh, there were Black uh, Blackjack and Buddha also had, Vertical had limited edition hardcovers release of these too. They were really nice. But I I think I gave mine away, the hardcovers, because I had the soft covers were good enough for me. A fool was I. And it's weird because like when you see things like that and then you see things like Barbara and how different they are. Or where is it? The um was it O to Kirihito maybe? Can't remember, but then he has some adult oriented books. And then you have things like Astro Boy. No, there it is, Apollo song. So what's missing, of course, is Phoenix. I don't have Phoenix. And I almost bought the Spanish editions of Phoenix, which were gorgeous, tall hardcovers with colored pages. But I'm hoping one day somebody out there will release Phoenix here in America in English, or at least in English. Like, I'll take England. Um, in, you know, in a beautiful format. Uh, there, I do also have some of the other Kickstarters <laughs> I've kickstarted over a year ago and I haven't gotten any notice yet, but yeah, this is probably my favorite manga shelf. I just love looking at it. I really enjoy this tour because I'd forgotten about so many of the manga that are down here that I want to reread. So thank you for suggesting it. Thank you, husband, for doing it. Thank you for helping me, You're assisting welcome. me. No, it was a lot of fun to go back and reminisce and going like, oh, that's where that damn book was. And another reason I do this, and all my co-hosts can tell you, is that I go back and look at my videos when I'm shopping for manga or I find a deal somewhere. I'm like, oh, I'm missing that volume. So thank you all. Uh, thank you to our Patreons. Uh, and if you want to support the channel and enjoy the content, please think about joining our Patreon. That description, uh, or the link is in the description. We're also on Redbubble where you can get cool t-shirts like this, not like that. Like this. Stay tuned for a tour of Melanie's craft room and memorabilia from her childhood when she won prizes oh. and certificates in elementary school. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't forget to check us out on our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Near Mint Con. And I think that's it, right? Nope. That's it. Rem stay no. remember, mental. remember if it's classy and cool. Lord, stay Damn it! Remember if it's classic cool, it must be near mint. So this, uh, mother. You don't let me say anything. <laughs> what, what would you like to add, Melanie? Oh, gosh. No. I had a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, gosh. I sometimes think I go on too long, but some people have wanted me to go on longer, so that's going to be taken out of context. <laughs> Shit. This is why I hate signing off.